What do I say? Like, can you, does it look like I'm looking into the camera? Mm hmm Rolling. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be talking about like uh, mistakes that I made or like things I wish I had known when I first bought my uh, Monster Speed 3. So uh, right now we're actually getting some uh, McDonald's. Is it, is, wait, is it awkward if I look at you or the camera? Don't look at me. I'm trying not to, but like I just keep on looking at you. Oh. <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to make this video is because when I first bought my car, I didn't really know what to look for. There are things that I know now that I wish I knew when I was first looking for this car. And fun fact, I've actually had around like five to six people, I say, that have literally been inspired by me to buy a Mazda Speed 3, which I think is amazing. All right, can I get a McDouble combo? Yeah. Uh, for the drink, I'll have a Red Fortopia. Yeah. Um, do you guys have any chocolate chunk cookies right now? Chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take one. Okay. And then I'll take four nuggets. So yeah guys, um, there's actually one guy that hit me up not too long ago and like I think it's cool that you bought a speed like, like it's great but like I feel like you guys weren't aren't like really listening to me when I like give you like the proper points of like buying a proper speed I mean I feel like I should stress this enough. Okay guys so this is not going to be all, all these points are not going to be specific to like a Mazda Speed 3 these are going to be like general points for buying any car but it kind of applies to this car as well. Okay guys, the first thing that I want to be talking about is that I wish I had learned manual on another car. Mm -hmm. Bro, this fucking line is taking so long. Look at this shit. Are you gonna show them? Okay guys, so the reason why- okay, I think it's cool that like this is like the first car I ever learned manual on, but I kind of had to sacrifice like the clutch for it, like I think the clutch is kind of on its way out, so it's gonna be an expensive fix. Um, is this car easy to learn on? Honestly, it's not that bad, but I will say that the clutch is a little stiff. I've driven other manual cars with a lot easier, like a Honda Civic SI or a Focus RX or a WRX. So here's the tip. If this is your first manual car and you wanna learn, my best advice is first start in like a, at like a random like side street. Just go back and forth, back and forth, like reverse and forward. And another thing to be good on hills is um, go on like a driveway or somewhere where it's not too steep, like a little hill and just go up and down, up and down, just to like feel the clutch. Okay guys, uh, funny story. Um, so, you know, I'm just backing up and as you can see, I, uh, I ripped off my rear lip by accident. So, I'm gonna try to put it back on right now. Yeah, so sorry about the little incident. I um, I was just being careless and yeah, that was probably the first time I ever ripped off a, a lip. Good thing it wasn't my front lip, because that was my front lip. I wouldn't be able to fix that right now, but luckily it was just my rear lip. But, um, next thing that I'm going to be talking about is, so when I first got my car, this was actually the first speed I, I ever looked at. It was the only car I ever looked at. So, I mean, I say I got lucky with this car when I bought it, but if I were to do it again, I would have definitely looked at, like, more than one speed because, you know, you want to have options. This goes with any buying any car, but especially with this car, you know, you don't really want to go with, like, the first one you look at. So, yeah, the reason why it's so important is because... You know, depending on where you go, for, like I looked at, first of all, I looked at a dealership and most people will tell you not to buy a speed from a dealership just because you don't, you know, you don't, you're not able to talk to the owner and like see how we actually maintain it. So that was already a mistake in itself. And you just want more of a, a variety. You never want to feel tied down to like one car because you may get like ripped off or whatever the case may be. So definitely I would have looked at more than one speed. So yeah, the next thing that I want to talk about is, so when I bought this car, I literally had no knowledge, no, like, I didn't know anything about this car. I walked into this car, like, blindly. I didn't know anything. I didn't know, like, high-pressure fuel foam internals. I thought this car had a freaking blow-off valve, um, and even though it doesn't. Just, like, random stuff that, like, I wish I had known when I first got it, but, like, what I'm basically trying to say is when I first got this car, I wish I did my, I, I wish I did more research on it. I wish, like, I don't know, I was just more aware of what this car is capable of and what it's all about, just because, God knows, like, I could have bought, like, a shit one and then I'd be screwed. So, yeah, guys, essentially just educate yourself about the car, you know? You want to know what you're getting yourself into. You want to make sure you know you're... You want to make sure that you know you're looking for, like, the proper things, like, like whether it be, like, certain mods, um, like, certain maintenance things done to this car, certain things around the car you want to look for. You just want to educate yourself on the car. So, yeah, guys, last thing about this point is the reason why it's so important is just because if you know what you're looking for, then odds are you probably won't get screwed. Like I know so many guys when they buy this car, like they say they have all these mods, all these things done to it, and they don't even understand what it does. 
or if it's the right thing to have or if it's the wrong thing to have or if they need something for that. It's, you gotta be very anal when you buy this car. You really gotta know what you're looking for and if you don't, you can really get screwed. Next thing that I wanna be talking about is, this is kind of adding on to the point I was just talking about, is you really wanna do your research on like laws for this car and maintenance. Are you really? Okay. Um, shit, it was gonna, I lost my train of thought. So yeah guys, when I first got my car, um, I didn't really know like the regular maintenance routines that I, that I should have done for this car. So I came from a regular Mazda 3 where it's okay to do your oil changes not as frequently as you should in this car and like I never even thought of like transmission fluid or like brake fluid, coolant. I know that I know you should be doing that in your car but I didn't even own that car for so long so I didn't really know like the proper maintenance schedule but so for example when I first got this car, so for example, the oil changes, I ran some like na no name, like 5W30 brand. I didn't even know where it was from. I think I got it from like CarQuest or some shit like that. And I don't even remember what I really did, what oil filter I did. And looking back at it, I wish I had, you know, from the get go, I know like running 5W40 with the OEM filter is like the best way, or I didn't know how often you should do your transmission fluid, your, your coolant, your brake fluid. Um, and also with regards to the mods, this is even more important. So I kid you not, probably for like the first six months of owning this car, I had no idea what high pressure fuel pump internals. Luckily, I didn't do anything crazy. I think the only thing I did was intake and exhaust. So with intake and exhaust, you're fine without the fuel pump internals. But I wish I had known that more. So let's say I let's say I didn't know about that and I wanted to throw on like a downpipe or like an intercooler without getting a tune and fuel pump internals. Bro, if I had not known that, my freaking car would be already blown up by now. I'd already have like a rebuild and all that shit. So yeah, guys, when you first get this car, or you're thinking about getting this car before you buy it, do yourself a favor, do research on maintenance and how to modify this car properly, because I promise you, if you don't do that and you buy this car, then this car is not gonna last you long. That, that's, just, that's just the fact of the matter. There's no way of getting around it. Do your research. So kind of adding on to the point, I was talking about the modifying thing. I really regret like holding off buying high pressure fuel pump internals and an access port for so long. It's so like okay, if you don't know what this if you don't understand how important they are, you're gonna look at it and be like, okay, these two things together are already like a thousand dollars. It's not gonna make my car faster, look better. You're not really gonna understand it and oh shit, on the road. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there are fucking two cops right there. Oh shit, it was rolling the whole time. Oh good, that's good. That's content right there. Okay. <laughs> so yeah guys, um, shit, hold on, let me focus for one second. <laughs> Yo, that guy's gonna get fucked too. <laughs> it's a Mazda too. Oh fuck, that's a red light. When you first get this car, and you wanna like, let's say it's bone stock, and you wanna know what to do first, guys, I don't give a shit, no excuses, get high pressure full pump internals and an access port. If you want to modify this car, and you want to do it properly, you don't want your shit to blow up, get a freaking access port fuel pump internals. Just do yourself a favor. It's going to suck paying the thousand dollars, whatever it is, whether you buy a used or new. Just freaking spend the money and then you don't have to worry about your car blowing up and it's going to run fine. Okay guys, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a crucial mistake that I made and this is kind of my fault because this was my first manual car and I didn't really understand how to drive the car properly. Okay, this is a big thing. If you're in a lower RPM, especially if you're in like sixth, sixth gear, you're cruising on the highway, guys, if you're gonna if you're gonna like floor the car or drive it harder and hit boost, make sure you freaking downshift. Guys, the rods in these cars are so weak and especially when you're adding so much load at such a, a low RPM, dude, you're gonna literally like fucking bend break your rods whatever it's it's so bad for the car so let's say you're cruising at like 100 kilometers an hour you're in sixth gear at minimum down shift all the way to fourth gear and then do it make sure the rpm is at at least above like 3500 rpm because guys you do not want to floor the car at such a low rpm it's just bad it's, you're just asking for a disaster i would treat this car as like an automatic car where like you just you just put your foot to the floor the car automatically downshifts nope it's a manual car i make i may sound kind of stupid saying that but Hey man, I just want to be as transparent as you guys as possible. I, I mean, I know there's some guys out there who probably make the same mistake. And I definitely don't want you to make that mistake. You're going to hit boost in this car. Make sure you always downshift. Alright guys, next thing that I'm going to talk about is something that I've talked about on this channel that I have actually given a lot of praise for. That 
it's good, but I wish I hadn't have done it. And that is lowering springs. So with the age of my car, where my, I think I installed the lowering springs, my car is around like 160,000 kilometers. And that's still on the OEM shocks and struts. So they're already pretty old. So right now my rears are currently blown and it's not sitting as low as I wanted to. There's no adjustability. Um, you're wearing out your shocks at some point. And I don't know, I wish I had just gone cold overs first. Okay guys, um, before we keep on going, uh, nice little open road in Mexico. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nice pull. Holy shit. Yo, you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's scary. I had to make sure my head was back in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry about that guys. Um, we just made a quick detour to Mexico. Um, anyways, so yeah. Honestly, I like the lowering springs, but there's just something about it. I want my car to be lower and I want like that adjustability. And honestly, I wish I would have just saved my money and got a coilovers, especially what I'm using it for. Like I really want to get into like tracking my car and all that. And lowering springs are okay for that, but coilovers are definitely better. I mean, if you're just the kind of guy who wants like a little bit of low and you're not really gonna like track the car as mostly for daily, lowering springs are a great buy. They're cheap, they work, they're they're great, but if you're doing it for what I want, like tracking it, like driving it hard, adjustability, like on your ride height, damping, all that stuff, I would have just gotten coilovers. Yo, that freaking, that's like the same guy that went in that closed off road. <laughs> nice roof rack, bro. You think I should get a roof rack? I'm down. I don't know, I don't really like the look of it. We can go camping with it. I mean, it'd be fun, but I don't know, I don't like the look of it. I like the look. I would probably use it like once a year at the very most. Yeah, that's fair. You guys, last thing that I'm going to be talking about, it's a current problem that I'm dealing with right now, is... So, last year, um, I had my car paint corrected, but I didn't want to get ceramic coated. Honestly, if I were to do it again, I would get it ceramic... Or sorry, I would get it paint corrected and then ceramic coated right after because... Honestly, if you daily drive your car where it snows and like... It gets super dirty like you're kind of like just bound to like it's like inevitable that you're gonna get swirls again and if i have got it ceramic coated that wouldn't have happened but i was kind of being cheap at that time so i really wish that when i got my car paint corrected i got it ceramic coated after so if you can't afford ceramic coating it as well i would just save the money and do it both at the same time because my paint was like amazing it was it was in amazing condition like the entire summer but after winter you know with the snow brush and like kind of like lazy washes at the coin wash like you know the paint will get swirly again it just it just happens but if i were to do it again i would definitely do ceramic coat and paint correct at the same time the sky is pretty you have to get the sky oh i want the sky well you're my world oh you need about a lot of sky though in the joke. I think it's worth washing my car right now. I mean, we don't really have anything else to do. <laughs> Fuck, it's in Mississauga. We have to like turn around. Where are we, Oakville? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be honest, I should probably like make a Um. Okay. okay, if you're gonna go in front, at least speed up. You have to get him. It's common courtesy. God. So yeah, guys, um, we're gonna go get a car wash right now. We're only like five minutes away. We thought we were getting lost, but we're actually five minutes away from there, so that's great. <laughs> yeah, that Canadian flag is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get the flag. They don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Say a bunch of shit you don't even look at. You don't even because I just don't think about filming. I don't vlog. I'd be sick at vlogging. Like, to be honest, I'm weird. So, like, I feel like people would like it. They would. Do it, do it, do it. Is there any cops? Oh 
my god. Bad, bro. Fuck. Oh my god. I don't know if I gotta wash my car today. Okay, these are these are not people for um This is for Yeah, I think this girl in the Mustang's checking you out. Hey right shorty. Now? Yeah, I did. Dude, look at this fucking windshield. How is he gonna wash his car? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go behind they him. They don't have... I'm gonna go behind him. Okay. I think it's a female. It's a fucking dude, what do you mean? Oh shit, is it? Oopsies. How the fuck are you gonna wash your car? No, we should ask him, we should ask him. Excuse me, mate. How you gonna wash your car? Wait, is that a girl? Dude, I don't, honestly, I don't even know if I can wash my car today. I don't even know if it's worth it. You wanna fly cars? It's a Genesis right there. Oh, he has some tinted headlights. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He looks like a... F he looks like he beats his wife, bro. You don't just say that about people. Is that Diva? No, it's a fucking fake name. Yeah, fucking Lancer. Hi, Diva. Respect all builds. <laughs> Why is the camera so close to me? <laughs> because... Dude, that was just a waste of time. Fiesta ST. Those are cool cars. Those are cool cars. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, oh, cool I kind of like it. Show the people it. Holy shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> here it is. Here it is, guys. Here it is. Right here. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Yeah, it's a cool car. Why is the camera so close at me? Where do you want it? JJ oh, for life? Where do you want it? Don't. Oh, it's not as cool as the Focus RS. <laughs> yeah. There's like a lot of modified cars that come here. Yeah. I mean, kind of makes sense. It's like a testosterone thing just to come here, just to think, think you're like a cool Yeah, it's such a man thing. TBH. Car guy man thing. It's fair. Actually, I feel like it's just a car person thing. Like, I feel like if a car girl wanted to wash her car, like, she'd probably come here too. With all the modded car guys. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Every time I go up a hill with you, like, in your car, I'm like, oh my god, like, I would die on this hill. Well, we're not, like, at a stop, we're just rolling. I know, but like, just thinking about it, if I had to Yo, stop. Yo, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> if you want to see a video of my girlfriend learning how to drive manual, definitely let me know. I have been on her freaking ass about it for like forever, but she's too much of a fucking you know what. Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to like F up your car. It's already F'd up, so you may as well F it up more. Fair point, but it's kind of your daily. That's a fat house. Look at that. Yeah. Look, I showed them. Are you proud of me? No, it's okay. Right. Clean downshifts. Guys, isn't like a clean downshift like the most like satisfying thing in the world? God, Honda. That's not. Oh my God, you're so cool, bro. I always say that whenever I see like a racer and then like he just drives by me, I say, even to myself, like, oh my God, you're so cool, bro. Yeah, I say that about you behind your back. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Full boys. Oh my god. Holy shit. Alright guys, anyways, that about wraps up the video. We're heading back home now. Um, I hope this video was helpful for someone that's, you know, new to this car and they're not very educated on the car and they want to know like certain things that you should know all that stuff anyways guys i'll uh i'll catch you in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed like i said before like comment subscribe i'll catch you in the next one stay consistent peace